Hey fall enthusiasts, I'm Stephanie Prowitz, Executive Director of the Green Lake Association, and I'm here today to show you some lawn maintenance tips that are good for your yard and good for our local water resources. So it's that time of year when the leaves are falling, but many people don't realize that there's the right way and the wrong way to handle leaves. <laughs> This one leaf may not seem like a big deal, but when it's combined with all the leaves of a tree, multiplied by all the leaves in our city, it adds up to a big impact to our water resources. Leaves naturally contain phosphorus, and when you improperly dispose of them, they eventually make their way to our local streams and to Green Lake. It doesn't matter whether you live in a city, or a long Green Lake, or somewhere in between, it's all connected. So think about this. One pound of phosphorus can fuel the growth of 500 pounds of algae. So properly taking care of our waterways means properly taking care of our leaves. The good news is it's easy. There are three ways to properly dispose of your leaves. Mulch them, compost them, and rake them. Mulching is my personal favorite method because it's quick, easy, and it's free fertilizer for the yard. In just a couple of weeks, these tiny leaf fragments will disappear, and in the process, they'll feed your yard with nutrients for free. So I've got one of these nifty compost tumblers, and I use it mostly for food scraps from the kitchen. But I find to get the right texture for my compost, I need to add leaves. I always feel like I'm on the prices right when I tumble this thing. Big money, big money! <laughs> So if you don't have a fancy compost tumbler, it's no problem. I also have this very basic compost bin, which I made out of an old pallet and some garden fence. So I use it to add garden scraps, old jack-o'-lanterns, and you guessed it, leaves. So if all else fails, there's also good old-fashioned raking. That was easy. So when you rake your leaves, you want to make sure that you keep them up here on the terrace and out of the street, where rainwater can't wash them away. So here's an example of what not to do. These leaves are off the terrace and into the street. And the problem is that eventually, these leaves are found in this gutter. And when it rains and the rainwater passes through the leaves, it makes a phosphorus tea of sorts and the nutrients that are naturally contained in the leaves flow into the gutter, untreated, and eventually into the rivers and our lake. There are also a few optional methods to do in the process. So regardless of which method you use, don't burn them, don't rake them into the lake, and don't rake them into the streets. So that's it. Do your part to keep Green Lake clean and have a great fall.